Hi, my name is Kat. I'm one of the community managers here on Dawn of War 3. We recently invited some fans to get to the studio and get first hands-on experience with the Gamescom build, so we're gonna sit with them and get their impressions on the game. No! Ah! Mistakes were made! Holy sh! Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Sire, to the west is a Colossus Webway Gate, deploying Eldar in great numbers. Eastwards, they are also working to activate another Colossus Gate. Together, we can conquer these perils and the others that await us. What is going to be your strategy going forward? Um, bring in the armor. I'm going to bring in those Predator tanks and maybe the Dreadnoughts. Definitely the Dreadnoughts, yeah. In the early stages anyway, have a kind of mixed but lightweight force of tactical marines and assault marines to sort of break the lines, disperse them up and get those controller listening positions that I need to, the resource points. It's a one word strategy. Uh, it, it's the Solaria strategy. Artillery, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fast gate down. There's no running. Victory. <laughs> what lost it for me? Slaria dying. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. that moment, it just all hope was lost, and then she came back, and I, and I finished it. So. She came off, cooldown. down. <laughs> yeah, she exactly. Right and I was like, I'm not gonna win this. There's no way I'm gonna win this. Slaria's off cooldown. I'm gonna win this. Awesome. Final victory. Thank you. <laughs> I had to rebuild my army like three times. You, you don't want to be under my command. It's just a bloodbath. Dead space marines everywhere. Yeah. 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 At the end, for what we're doing, you know, it's very much kind of just get there and hope that it works out. And unfortunately, yeah, because a lot of my infantry units got there first, they got slaughtered. I focused on, yeah, the, the, um, the Lance Cannon and uh, Heavy Bolters, but yeah, it all came down to Solaria. And then when she died, I was like, oh, <laughs> and it really did hold me back. Like, she's slow, but she packs such a punch, you need her for the end. What did you think of your first hands-on experience with Dawn of War 3? I love the base building aspect, and I love the, the, the zoomed back scale, and this even brings it farther back. I really enjoyed just the overall experience of seeing some of the new units. There's some slightly new mechanics in there, so getting to see those and understand them, and sort of starting to get glimpses of the narrative and the story in the world of Dawn of War 3 was really fantastic. Uh, I loved it, loved it to bits. Um, I, w I was kind of curious where it was going to land in between uh, 1 and 2. I mean, I, I'd seen things and I'd, re I'd read about things, um, but to get hands on time, I'm really glad with the direction it's gone in. It's a really, really fun experience. So this was a different mission than what we showed at E3. How would you say this fared in comparison? It's, it's, very, it's very difficult watching somebody else play uh, it's so easy to pick apart what they've done. You think, oh, no, you should have done that. You should have done this. Why didn't you do that? Oh, I could have done this so much better. But actually, um, getting hands on time, um, it's amazing how tactical you have to be to get the most out of your army and how well you can fare if you are and how poorly you can fare if you don't. Uh, well, this one was the, uh, the Eldar was switched to bloodthirsty mode. Yeah, I mean, they, they are ruthless. And I mean, we, we just got out of playing it, and I got wiped. My, my force got wiped twice in the last one, just wrecked. And I knew what I had done wrong. I mean, I think that's the best part when you're playing a good strategy game is that you know, you say, oh, okay, that went terribly. But I know what I could do to change it. I know what I've learned from that scenario that I can come at it. So, you know, I could bring in the, the heavy bolters and take out the infantry, or I can use that artillery, the whirlwind, and have like, the cluster munitions come out and wipe out a big group of infantry, which I wish I would have used a little bit more. So you actually played this mission a couple different times. How did your strategy evolve from maybe like the first time you played it up until the last? In the early stage, build light mixed units to sort of try and just deal with things generally, capture resource points. I went very quickly to go for all the resource points I could yeah. to build up the army for the end stage. 
Um, and that worked absolutely fine. Uh, dealing with the first gate was fine. Dealing with the second gate, I, my mistake was that I left it too long. I underestimated the power of my own force, and that's something that you kind of will obviously get used to as you play and go through. I had more strength than I think I thought I had, and so I didn't want to go in there, lose units, and then waste a lot of time. But kind of, <laughs> hilariously, I kind of wasted time yeah. by not going forward. Yeah, once, once the pressure is on, to like get your troops in there and you start making mistakes. I can see how this is gonna be fun in multiplayer. Cause I was just, she, we, we got the, the time, limit. I was like, oh, you know, was it 28 minutes? You got two minutes left. And it was just grab everybody, go. And with that strategy, did not work. Everybody, I just got wiped instantly. So if you're not watching what you're doing. Like I said, there are troops everywhere. And so while this favors Laria, also favors the whirlwinds that are just like, amazing artillery. The range on them is huge and the damage they can do to, to clusters of troops is insane. So when my, my scouts kind of went through some fog I think and then just saw like this big spread and I thought I've got four whirlwinds, I'll kind of control group into one, two, three, four mm -hmm. and just go bam, 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 bam and it worked out beautifully. I actually had a lot of fun with the scout snipers. Yeah? Yeah, I like to bring them in behind my infantry line and I like how the infantry would, you know, I get a good battle line going and then I can bring the scout snipers in or, I mean, Dreadnought. <laughs> just you can't go wrong with a dreadnought. Yeah. Uh, taking the the cover, I found was something that was. It's really good to jump in there with your salt marines and try to kick the enemy out, or use uh, Gabriel's ability to uh, to disrupt them out of this there, then take it for yourself. Well, I, I suppose her skill set is very. She's got the rocket strikes, and like the the spray. I don't know the specific names, um, but they both seem tailored to dealing with large clumps of troops and and that's definitely what the Eldar were predominantly coming at me with. So um, she's not indestructible and certainly towards the end of the map there are some really big units that, that deal with her a lot easier. So you kind of realize she's not a go-to solution for the whole thing. Uh, and the, the combat drop pods, mm -hmm. uh, those just putting them in the middle of a group and watching those guns come out the doors was, was great. It's very yeah. satisfying. Very satisfying, or just landing on infantry, using them as weapons to disrupt a field, you know, and have your, your space means run down the ramps. That's, that's, that's pretty fun, yeah. We just wanted to give a huge shout out to our fans who came in the studio. That was Lewitin, Yogscast Jin, and Captain Shaq. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. We're so excited that you've had your first hands-on before Gamescom.